What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more House of the Dragon. Today we are doing episode four of season one. This one is called King of the Narrow Sea. Very excited, especially with how last episode ended. I was expecting the crab feeder to be somewhat of a more elongated villain, but no, he's been uh, dealt with to say the least. Now we have more political and succession worries at hand. Very excited to see what goes on in the background, what goes on in the foreground, any fights, any dragon riders, any love, any hate. You guys know all the, all the jazz. If you guys are excited as this as I am, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Make sure you guys check out that Patreon so you guys can get the uncut full length version of this show and early access and uncut to the other shows I'm watching on the channel. Let's hop right on into it. Um, House of the Dragon, Episode 4, King of the Narrow Sea. Let's do it. Craxies. Damon is here. That man is headed to the Red Keep. Are things cool with him and Viserys now? Or after that whole thing with the Crab Feeder? We haven't gotten anything about that. So, big news. Damon has returned. Rainier looks like she's trying to hide amongst the audience, find out what's going on, not really bring too much attention to herself. Once we smash the triarchy, they name me King of the Narrow Sea. Really? That's the title of this episode? King of the Narrow Sea is well, Damon? There is only one true king, your grace. Okay. Oh, I thought his hair was like in a ponytail or something. No, his hair is all cut. Can't lie, the tension is kind of crazy right now. I don't know what Viserys is thinking. Good, right? Okay. Good sign. The brother has made peace with the king. The Targaryen family is back united. Can't lie, their king's, their king's guard armor looks so sweet. Like, it might be, in my opinion, top three armors in the show so far. Not this show in total, Game of Thrones as well. And I think Damon's like black dragon from episode one attire is probably also top three. Like it's crazy the, the sets and the practicalness in the show. All the sets, everything so far has been set up so grand. Is she getting some common born clothes so she can sneak out? What is she doing? Damon. You want freedom? You want to live your life? Damon... Damon's one to agree with you on that one. Look at King's Landing at night. It looks so dope, but also so scary at the same time. Like, look at this. I'm like, what the fuck? She is having the time of her life right now. And why I feel like Arya would be like this as well. I think of Arya and her adventures as a boy, Ari, you know? This also reminds me of Arya and when she was in Essos dealing, uh, watching with the play for the faceless men and all that, you know. I wonder if Damon took her here on purpose to have her have some self-reflection about this, you know. Pardon me, your grace. The king has requested your presence. I wonder if that means what I think it means, or if he requires more medical aid, or... I mean, it cuts to this, so I don't know... You know what I'm saying? Now, Rhaenyra is experiencing a lot that she wouldn't normally get to experience in her day-to-day -day life, but this is quite something new for her. Yep, so... Viserys is doing what I was thinking he was doing. Alicent is... Not enjoying herself. It's her honor. She is not really what she wants. This is all around a rough scenario. Is what's happening? Is what I think happening happening? Both Allison and Rhaenyra are. Marriage is a duty, as it shows this, and she is forced to put on a smile. Oh. Of all the things that happened in this episode, this is not what I was expecting one of them to be. Well, I was wondering who Raina, Rhaenyra's suitor would be in the future. Ah, uh, this would be a crazy twist on that. Couldn't go through with it. I never trust kids like this. Nah. 
This whole episode has just been full of shit I was not expecting at all. What is going on? Hey, Kristen's like, I left you when you were inside the room. How the f did you get outside? He's like, did something happen? Was the house fucking time skip? You hurt. She's just in one of those wants freedom moods, you know? I get it. She's still in that, like, you know, after Damon and all this, that, and the other. Okay. But Kristen is a vowed man. You know, he's bound to protect you. And all the, he's not going to do this. He's a man of, he's a man of true honor, in my opinion, at least. If this happens too, bro, I'm going to be so just, like, lost. There's so many surprise sexy moments in this episode. Like, Kristen, my boy, he is succumbing. I don't even know what to think anymore. I was like, okay, is it going to be Dondarian? Is it going to be Damon now? Is it going to be Kristen? Even though it can't be Kristen, but, you know, it can't be. I'm like, who the f This show is crazy. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe your vow is purely for being married and holding lands maybe he's not breaking his vows doing this because like sam tarley said in, <laughs> for the night's watch they actually don't ever say you can't have sex with a woman you know but hey i'm always a fan of love persevering over everything so if they were meant to be together but they can't make it work politically hell to hell with it man make it work Kristen. i just was not expecting this i can't lie Oh, it's the boy saying Rhaenyra was out with Damon or the little birds. See, this is why I don't trust kids ever since Varys and after Kyburn. What a beautiful view. God damn. Discomforting news. I thought it best shared discreetly before the council. Ah, look at the sea steak. But it concerns the princess, my king. Rhaenyra and Kristen. Rhaenyra and Damon. What is the news? How does the kid know she was at a brothel i mean he knows that but no easy thing to tell a father of his daughter's exploits yeah she was found at a, she was seen at a brothel last night last evening in the pleasure house what of it coupling is allison listening to this you so sick with ambition that you would have my daughter stalked spied upon best chance to destroy her reputation i think there is some validity to that because he does want aegon to be to secede her you know your design is obvious damn so the same old hangout spot allison requested a little get together what are they going to talk about i'm curious oh no hesitation immediately to it what do you mean my father has made some worrying allegations about you was i drank wine Left the castle after dark. And you fucked David in the pleasure house. Yeah, yo, yeah. I do not know specifically. Well, your father did not tell you. He reported it to the king. Yeah, even worse. He told it straight to Pops, and she just listened, which it is somewhat of a professional courtesy that she's coming to her directly, and you know. But it's like both sides are, eh, you know. That's why it is a courtesy that she went to you first to let you know of everything that happened, your accusations. But you know, I don't know if I I don't know if full intercourse happened, but if you know, from abandoned <laughs> leave them some fall. So she's conveniently leaving out the fondling area part, but hey, you know, I don't think they. Fully, had said, I don't know. I think they were in the, 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 you know, first base, second base. I don't think they had the full home run though. Maybe a ground rule double at best. Damon, never touch you. Now, see, that's just straight false. I seen hands on titties. I seen hands on booty cheeks. And you putting it on the uh, what? See, and I think that's what makes this a little bit. I think. The fact, because she's a maiden, she's still a virgin. I think the fact that uh, Damon didn't have sex with her, but Kristen did, is what the issue really is. Like I think obviously her virtue was sullied because of the accusation with uh, her uncle. Because the outside Targaryen customs, that's kind of a that's a weird thing, you know. But 
it truly did happen with Kristen, no matter what anyone says. So it's like, damn, you know. She is maidenless no more. Or she is maidenless now. Now she is no maiden. He's just a girl. Your niece. Here is a woman grown. Better first experience be with me than some whore. You fucking damn. You have ruined her. He is really not denying it. Wed her now in this condition. So then, the fuck what some lord thinks. I wonder, did they actually? You the dragon. Your word is truth and law. Give me Rhaenyra to take to wife, and we will return the house of the dragon to its proper. He is ballsy, saying this with a knife to his neck to the man to the father. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Strive to restore whatever scrap of honor remains of you, or don't. Matters Didn't the last time we tell him to leave and go to his wife, he just took over Dragonstone and said, fuck it? We can trust him this time? She swore to me that she remained a maiden. Uh, yeah, she lied. And I believe her. You're good. You're a good friend. I respect that. She a goddamn liar! So this is going to be their first conversation since this should be quite not awkward at all. Well you speak of the Conqueror's vision and the need for strength and unity across the realm. But how can that be accomplished with your most trusted advisor so self-interested? That's a very valid point. Every man on my small council and all councils past has been self-interested. Also, air rebuttal. I, I will do my duties there and with Selene. But you must first do yours as king. Damn. Damn, this is rough. Oh, with Otto coming in right now, what's gonna happen? He's not gonna not make him his hand anymore, right? Five days later, my father lay dead. Two in his last breath. On the breath. Is he implying Otto had something to do with that? to the Iron Throne. You went from being another man in Jairus court. The second most powerful man in the realm. I wonder. How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? You were a faithful servant, Otto. See, I would feel bad for Otto right now had I not known he is super self-interested. Like, I know he wants Aegon to be king. I know he did the Alicent thing on purpose. Like the crown in the realm. Both owe you a debt. Can never be repaid. I can no longer trust your judgment. So who's gonna be the the hand. There are so many twists in this episode that I just was not expecting at all. The Grand Maester. Forgive the late hour, Princess. I will rid you of any unwanted consequences. Oh. An abortion tea. Yeah. Damn. Okay, yeah. And I didn't think we could end it any darker. This is like Viserys is not playing around anymore. He said, I will do my honor as king. You are going to wed Lenor and no babies coming out of that maiden. But like, God damn. I got to say that was one of the most sex filled episodes of anything I've watched in a very long time. Still with great character development, some great twists, though. I am shocked at the reconciliation to the unreconciliation of Damon and Viserys' relationship all within one episode. Like, we're like, all right, buddy, welcome back. We owe you a great debt. Get the fuck out of here. So it's like kind of crazy. And then you have Rhaenyra, her whole escapades, dealing with wanting to be free, dealing with the forced duty and honor that she's dealing with. Very similar to how I related her to Arya uh you know ned's daughter and how she felt like she did not want to fit into the societal structure and the norms that she was forced to do and ned supported her in that and i feel like had they not be queen and her king and princess i feel like viserys is a good dad he would have supported her in that as well but sadly their honor is way more way bigger way more of a responsibility than than ned stark and Arya. sadly so yeah can't be the same situation but Alicent, like I said, shouts out to her actually having a professional courtesy. And uh, I feel like because she relates to Rhaenyra about being, like Rhaenyra said, a political prisoner forced to squeeze out heirs. That's literally what Alicent is. Hey, 
sorry to call you this late, Allison. Uh, Viserys said he wants to fuck. Uh, but it's 2 a.m. He said he wants to fuck. Okay, you know, it's like, he's the king, sadly, so... But, uh, yeah, outside of all the political craziness, we had sexy sex time, which can't go wrong with sexy sex time, but crazy ass episode. I watched the preview for the next one. That one looks even crazier. I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, if you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Peace out, Dapper Squad.